Hey guys, we're coming to you today from Phuket, Thailand, where we're gonna do a little foodie tour. We're gonna go to three of the best places on the island and we're gonna bring you along with us. Drive to the restaurant. Don't look at me. How much do yeah. I get for this, by the way? Free meals. Free meals. Right, where are we at, Riz? It's called uh, Krua Pailin. It's a Thai restaurant that serves food spicy enough to rip a hole in your sphincter. And I know that Jason's not very good with spicy food, which is why I bought him here. The food's terrible, but it's just spicy enough to make him hurt a little, you know? And it's next to a cute waterfall. So this is it, this is the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> Splash Mountain, we call it. See that? She was like, you've invited this here, but I'm ordering all the food. Well, the ego the on this one. It's unreal. Translate? Snail? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Can I? I think that's too Alright. Bah. Is it recording? Yeah. Get in there, JC. Oh, do you see the egg? Wee! Oh, you still. Wait, oh, spin a Rooney. That's a lock on my face. <laughs> what did it do? Alright. It gave me the spin a Rooney, bro. Is, is there any way we could go back to the cockpit a little bit? Hey, thank you for having us. So, oh, I'm getting all that chili. What do you call Thai? We do open block. So, so how long have you guys been here? How long have you been in business for here? So this restaurant has been open for 30 years. 30 years? Yes, 30 years. Good. And so uh what do you guys do differently that's allowed you to be like have a successful business here for so long? She says it's because of the quality of their food. They make everything themselves, including the spices, so like the curry paste and all that. Every spice and every curry paste that they make, they make themselves. Okay. That's what makes them different here from the other restaurants. Cool. And they also focus on, they specialize in um, the, the local food here. So. So, what are some of your favorite dishes on the menu? เมนูนะนําให้ค่ะค่ะที่ที่ชอบค่ะค่ะเมนูที่ที่ชอบที่ที่ที่ชอบที่สุดสักร้านอาหารเนี้ยค่ะอ๋อแค่ที่ชอบ
She said basically she feels happy that more foreigners are getting to know Thai food. So most foreigners come here and they always order the mainstream things like Tom Yam Fong and whatnot and it's nice that they're trying more foods awesome. that are local to this place. Cool. Yeah. Hey, what is it? It's like a sausage. Six, uh, sausage. Sticky rice sausage. Cool. And this is their local sausage here. Okay. Do you want to try it? Yeah, thank you. Oh, did, did I just steal yours? Yeah, okay. go for it. And I'll be into this. Mm. Aloy, Mark. Thank you. What is this inside it? Good, isn't it? <laughs> Sticky rice sausage, that's what they call it. Mm. I've never had this before. It's a little sweet, mm. almost like Christmasy. That is nice. It's stuck. It's, it's from Panga, this dish. This meat. It's really good. It's so good. I like mine. What do, what's the flavor come from? There's like some curry. Um, chili paste and coconut milk. That's nice. Yeah, that's oh. why you can't go wrong with it. This is the venison pad pet. What is that like? Venison pad like pet? Yeah. So it's like uh, spicy stir fry. Spicy curry stir fry with venison. Yeah. And here we have the crab meat with um, lemon sauce. Lemon sauce. And that's one of their famous dishes they were saying? That's the one yeah, that they cool. recommend from Looks place. like we have a snail curry. Gang something. Gang alive. Gang gang. Any gang alive? Oh, what's we'll thing? Do you want the name for them? Gang alive. Cool, I can always add it in later. And then what's this one with the fish here? Catfish. Catfish, catfish, yeah. Pet, pet, catfish. Sweet. Alright, initial thoughts of the uh, lemon crab breeze. Mm. The crab's good, it's fleshy, it's robust, it doesn't feel like flimsy. Lemon's not really my favorite profile, I prefer spice. But the chilies had a nice little kick. That's why I brought this, this man. So this one, yeah. It's gamey, a little chewy. It begins to aerate the mouth, spreading up to the navel cover it. Really opening up the airways. Are there rules to eating snails? Like, do you eat the whole thing or? You suck what's inside. You have to chew the shell, Jason. But if you can't suck it, then get a toothpick and then... Okay, we gotta teach you how to do it properly. One more time. can't suck it, just do it manually. Yeah, you have to do it with a toothpick. Shake it out. I can see you in there. Just get the toothpick. You want to show it. So, I'm currently snail sucking right now. My technique needs a little bit more work though, so I'm gonna have to go in there dry with a toothpick and kind of tease it out a little bit. Suck hard. Suck hard. Suck hard. Oh man. You are really shy. Reese, show us how it's done. All right, Come on. I'll suck on this end and you blow from the other side and it'll push it out. Wow. Oh my oh, god, Reese. She wanted proof. Katona cop. I don't know what's wrong with Jason. <laughs> Imagine this backer in there. Yeah. <laughs> Before, so. You heard it there. Eight out of five. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. I thought you said I have to. My bad. Eight out, <laughs> eight out of five. They're going to love that. They might even pump us. So. And if it's so. Oh. I have the uh, sea catfish with red curry paste. It's very tender. 
It feels uh, like fresh. They didn't overly fry it or anything. Uh, lots of depth of flavor, so there's lots of things going on. We have the chili pepper. They have the homemade curry paste. I think I detect a bit of garlic in there. Some, is that basil? Cafe lime leaf. What's it called? Cafe lime leaf. Magrut. Cafe lime leaf. Lots of stuff going on, so lots of depth of flavor. The pad pad venison? Yeah. How is it? It's amazing. Like, um, most pad pets are either like uh, chicken or seafood or pork. And pork's obviously, pork's obviously great because it's super fatty. But the venison's gamey and it adds like a smokiness to it from the meat without it being part of the cooking technique. It's just the meat itself is smoky. And then with like the amount of peppercorns that they put in it, some places the pad pet is sort of like just chili based. It's just chilies kicking you in the mouth. Whereas this is a bit more like fragrant. It aerates your mouth, it opens your nasal canal up. And the smokiness, it's like the fusion of a Texas barbecue and then a liquid fire from Southeast Asia. And this is like a different profile to most pad pets. Yeah, reload, Jason. Yeah. This is another detail is that a lot of pad pet, when it's really spicy, it just burns your tongue. You just put it in your mouth and you swallow it and instantly it's just fire in your mouth. This is sort of like a slow building. It starts off as like a little warmth, then it covers your mouth, then it opens your nose up. And then by the end of the meal, you're sweating like, wow, that was mm -hmm. a lot of spice. But you get to enjoy the meal without it being like a sharp acidic burn. It starts off as this warm smokiness and just gradually builds. And so for, um, for foreigners or people that are not used to spice, it's probably like the perfect way to wean them into spice. Oh, no, Cause it doesn't so... need... <laughs> are you struggling? No, I'm dying. Cause you're a foreigner. Deep down at heart. All right. My top pick for today was the pork belly with the sprouts and the garlic. I think they didn't overly fry the pork and they also had like leaner pieces so it wasn't just like chewing on a big hunk of fat. And the tenderness of the pork paired well with the crunchiness of the sprouts and yeah, yeah. just good flavors all around. Alright guys, so we just finished at Kuro Pai Lin, which happens to be right next to the Katu waterfall. So we're going to go check out the waterfall and then continue on to our next spot on the food tour today. How you feeling, Yui? The only thing like she'd be heffing at her food. Are we still going? So we made it to what is supposed to be the Katu waterfall, but it appears to be dry. Drier than Gandhi's flip flops. That's right. So we're on to the next spot. We'll try the waterfall again next time. Since 1987. All right, guys. We're in Phuket, Old Town, at Ice Cream Suk Shot for the famous fried ice cream. Gonna get a couple of different fried ice cream dishes. Fried ice cream with banana, crispy fried ice cream. Gonna check out a couple other menu items. You got a cute. It's that good. Where are we at, Yim? Fried ice cream place. Cool, how'd we land on this one? How? It's a place I used to go to when I was younger, and I was introduced to this place by another friend, a local, so and this is where all the locals eat. When you've been touched in a local place as a child, when you've been touched in a very special you place, it. it just stays with you. Oh, yeah. Fresh <laughs> egg, cracked, and you should go All right. Ice cream with egg yolk. Ice cream with egg yolk, this one right here. What is it about egg yolk with ice cream? I've never heard of that before. I don't know. I don't think I've tried it before, so. Just, just, bullsh local to just bullshit, pretend you're Reese. I think it makes it more creamy mm. and a little bit salty, so that's on the sweet side. Recommended getting the fried ice cream, the best you ever have. Really crispy on the outside and ice cream on the inside. Soft and this sweet on the inside. The 
hard exterior, <laughs> just like me. So, this chocolate and vanilla. If you want other flavor ice creams, they're only fresh. So, fried ice cream, only two flavors. You can get different toppings. And we'll have a look at all the toppings inside. Sweet. And how much commission do they pay you? Hmm? Shill. She's a shill. Don't trust her. Dang, she's taking over. This is good. I'm glad we brought you. What? I don't know. She seems tired of everyone's bullshit. So, uh, here having their complimentary water. It's crisp, it's cold, it's refreshing. Self-service. Delicious, delightful, delectable. Nice metallic aftertaste. Yeah, we'll get it. it. Oh, when they do it. Yeah, because it's Where do they do egg. it? They do it there in the right. I already recorded it. Oh, oh, you did? Yeah. You're yeah. the best. Good video. All right, so we have the egg yolk ice cream. So how do they make it? They just like stir in a raw egg with it? Or? So they crack a fresh egg um, with the ice cream in the freezer and then like mix it together. Nice. And what's this stuff called? It's bread. bread. Crispy Just bread. Crispy fried bread. Looks like there's That's some sugar bread. on it. That's so that'll give it some texture. Yes, no. Hmm. Is it that That's different from what? So the crispy bread kind of reminds me of like cinnamon toast crunch. Like okay. the breakfast cereal if you've had that in America. Yeah. Um, the egg definitely doesn't like subtract from it. I'm is not it, sure how I feel about the egg. Does it taste like egg yolk? Just straight milk. It doesn't taste particularly eggy. Like it's just kind of a new texture vanilla. to it. Yeah, it's just like uh, add some texture. Guys, we're higher. What do you guys think? That's my vanilla. This is the original OG. See? You got one or two? Okay. Yeah. That's mine. Everybody eat everything. Ready? Let's That's see my the chocolate one. <laughs> Would you do an orgy, Jay? Would I? Yeah. No. I don't think so. What do we just all smell? Try the chocolate one. Yeah. Crunchy, right? Five stars. Should I try this one, vanilla? Oh, it's got slaps, but oh. I did not expect it. But this is with chocolate, without chocolate. Like pineapple. So this is the fried ice cream. It appears they just like wrap toast around it. Yeah. And do they deep, deep fry, fry the whole thing? Deep fry it. Give me ice so cream, simple. Oh, you, oh, you want some fried ice cream. cream? This is fried ice cream. Thailand. I know Mexican joints do fried ice cream too. I'm not sure if they use. But the different, same. right? Yeah, I think so. So nice crust on it. Nice caramelization mm. on the toast. The juxtaposition between the, the crunch? crunch and the oiliness of the outer batter really sets you up for what is a more savory experience. And then the sweet tang of the ice cream just cuts right through, giving you a wonderful sense of diabetes. Mm. <laughs> Can you do a David Attenborough voice? <laughs> 
for uh, six lonely bananas. <laughs> Set this view on the edge of the pool. No, Werner, what's up? Yeah, you know, <laughs> Alright, Prow. <laughs> Do it for the camera one time. Where are we going? We are going to to work. <laughs> Alright, Yemi. Where are we going? Um, Lao Pasan. Yeah, Alright, Reese, where are we going? We're going to Lao Pasan. Alright, tell me a little bit of Lao Pasan. It's not Thai food, it's like fusion food. They have like uh, some Malaysian dishes, I think, some Indonesian stuff. Okay. So rather than scum with some Thai food, which is what we do most days, we're going to maybe have some bakute, which is like a type of Chinese herb with rib. Lao Pasan, you heard it here first. We've got about a kilometer to get there, so we'll see you when we get there. Oh, this is a great B-roll. Alright, so we're on our way to the last restaurant of the food tour. Looks like we uh, stumbled upon this night market here, so I think after we eat, we're gonna come back out here to the night market, take a look around, see what it has to offer. Yeah. It's a bit culturally very nice. Alright guys, we're at the last spot for the day. We came to Lao Passat in Phuket Old Town. We decided to switch it up. Uh, so for the last restaurant, it's not strictly Thai. Uh, the place is called Lao Passat. It's a bit of an Asian fusion place, so you can get a few different dishes. Reese, yes, you're sir. like perfectly color coordinated with the walls. <laughs> um, you do know I'm quite neurotic and I planned that this morning. I don't even like the food at this place, I just like the match. The grass jelly with milk. I'm suggesting strongly we try the lamb. All right, let's do it. Order it. What do we got here, Prof? You guys come on by. Hokkien. And we got the tom yum noodles. Laksa. Laksa. Yeah, this is not Thai. This is a. Oh, where's the the prick? The yeah, yeah. This is the real deal. What is, what is laksa exactly? I think it's a um, Malaysian curry um, noodles. Yeah. So it looks like we have some tofu, yeah. maybe some like fish tofu, coconut uh, milk. prawns, coconut milk, milk base, maybe some chili this oil. This is like a chili like jam almost. Are, like are there noodles in there? Yeah, it's a noodle dish. Oh, wow, this is a chili. Um, yeah, like a jam in it. Yeah, it's a chili jam. Yeah. Ooh. Money Are we gonna be able to finish all this? So, third eatery of the day. We're all struggling, mighty full, but we're powering through it for you guys. And after this, we're gonna get fried ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after this, we're going for some fried ice cream. How oh, nice you're having dessert and then savory food afterwards. That's a novel experience right, so that I've never considered before. Like grass jelly milk tea, is that what I got? Yeah. 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 It's milky, right? Forget. It's milky, it's tea, it's grass <laughs> jelly. It's not really tea, it's, um, it's actually brown sugar. Tell yeah. the truth, are you a poet laureate? <laughs> Tell the truth. You're being bashful again, aren't you? I was a poet <laughs> and I didn't even know it. What do we got here? We got some bean sprouts or are those mushrooms? Mm. So these are egg noodles. I'm not sure what the little noodles are. Maybe like rice noodles. Yeah. Uh, they are yes. rice noodles yes. mixed with rice egg noodles. noodles. Mixed with egg noodles, some seafood, some spring onions. Alex, whatever you want to call them. Some squid arena. Shout out to my squids. I'll try my squid, man, then. This is So what gives it that color? The charring is from the... Soy, yeah. Mm. Yes, and the soy. So it's similar to Pad Siu. It is char. That's what's called. I'm not going to lie, I feel like I'm eating. Mm. 
and bring it up really. It's going to be slow. Good point. That is a shot right there. And then bring out the shrimp, bring out the shrimp. The scramps. And then get the stew pitch. Hell yeah. Alright, so I'm trying the Hokkien noodles. It looks like we have two different types of noodles here. So we have the thicker egg noodles, then there's small little rice noodles. We've got some calamari, uh, fried egg in there. There's also prawns. Yeah, it's uh, similar to other like fried noodle dishes. It's a little sweeter. There's something that gives it a little tang in there. <laughs> mm. Super rich, like anything with a coconut milk base. The sambal, like the spicy gem, is not so pungent. Like you get more of like the lime and zest from fruit than most dishes. Like if you have tom yam, you get a lot of citrus fruit. This is similar, but it's more of like a lime citrus rather than an overall lemon grassy background herb. Super good though. It's kind of hearty. Like if you had a cold and you was Asian and you wanted to recover from the winter, this would be your one. jam. So this one, it has it's seafood and this one, it comes with a Chinese style sweet pork. Nice. And sausage, Chinese sausage. Chinese sausage. And the sauce is a bit... Um, Spicier than Patsy Eel. And what gives it that color, like the dark color on the noodles? Dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce? Mm. And the char, I believe. And the char, obviously. <laughs> she jumped in with you. She said five. I got this side. You already saw this side. Did you already film? No. I have to do that. All right, that was it for a Phuket food tour. I'm about as stuffed as I've ever been. If you're still watching, please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. I'm really close to getting monetized, so I need you guys to hit that subscribe button for me, and I'll keep bringing you some good content. Now, we're gonna check out this uh, night market in the old town of Phuket. See ya. Hey guys, today Why? Why? Today we're coming to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a time I'm and a place. I'm just gonna smile. That's what I'm doing. Today we're coming to you from Phuket, Thailand. We're gonna do a fuck it. <laughs>